Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch Search. I just love drinking coffee in my Believe Mug. It makes me feel all warm and ready hey for guys. a good Squatch Search. We're back story. here at uh, another episode of uh, Searching for uh, Sasquatch. We got John back. He's uh, hey everybody from our... Uh, yeah, hey John. He's from our uh, one of our encounter stories from... Oh, my... It's, it seems like it's about two or three years ago now. Uh, for it's about from right, the yeah. original, yeah, original uh, uh, encounters and uh, squatching we did out there, and uh, really glad to have you back on, John. It's been way been way too long. I'm glad to glad to be back and uh, kind of a uh, normal human being again. So yeah, missed you guys. Great, it's great. Yeah, uh, we recently had uh, an encounter come through. Uh, the channel that uh, was actually from um, the Cleveland National Forest, which, uh, you know, anybody that's probably been with us for some time now knows that uh, we've done some expeditions out that way, more on the southern end, um, but uh, up towards uh, an area that uh, driving, uh, John driving past actually, him right now on my way home from work. <laughs> so, yeah, I, um, it's John, a, nice, a nice backdrop, and we got a fresh. A uh, very rare situation, but a, a fresh coat of snow on the foothills here in the Cleveland National Forest, uh, about 12,000 feet down for our area. It's pretty pretty darn rare, like the 10-year storm. Nice, nice. So, yeah, they, basically the lady, uh, I forget her name. I'll, I'll insert the name here. Uh, but she, subscriber, is nice enough to share an encounter that or uh, some vocalizations she heard uh, just last night. And, you know, it, it's kind of interesting to hear you say that the snow is pretty low uh, down off the mountain there because I think the combination of the fires and um, now the snow low has probably brought down the livestock and the squatches. I what do you think, John? completely agree with that. I mean, even, you know, like we've talked about in the past, these um, – Sasquatch groups uh, or families or tribes, as you know, uh, we might call them, are definitely affected by the seasons and the weather. And um, just like just like us, I think they were given a uh, quite a, a heck of a last eight months between the massive fires we had in the area and now unseasonable snow. So yeah, I think along with the uh, game population and uh, definitely uh, have has driven down. Squash in the local uh, uh, game, you know, population down to a lower height than uh, right. usual, yeah. especially this I time. I mean, of uh, the, she what she uh, related to was similar to what you were telling me earlier in the week uh, when we were texting. You know about uh, you know some of the howls you were hearing, and I, I'm you know that area that you're in, I think, is well connected. Uh, either through drainage or uh, wildlife preserve uh, back into the Cleveland National Forest. So I'm thinking as the rains have hit, the snow has hit, and as wildlife has had to kind of reposition itself, you know, accordingly, that uh, now we're getting, you know, kind of Class B and C encounters down in the lowlands. What do you think? Because, John, why don't you go into what you heard? I think it, it's very similar to what happened to uh, one of our subscribers. Yeah, you know, and when I was reading through that, when you, you know, text me this afternoon to read on the subscriber's post, um, like you said, we'll leave her uh, link in, uh, down below, yeah. her name down below, but very similar to what I heard and sent chills, sent chills down my spine, like in, any uh, squatcher knows, when you, when you know a real report, it's because you've experienced them, especially in in one way or another and especially since it was very close to where i live not, not more than 15 15 miles per se um you know so basically i'll just kind of give a little backstory on what happened the uh, experience like like you said it was a b or c uh, uh encounter that i had but it, it we've had a lot of weather like i'm saying like i've been saying here uh not necessarily snow um in the lower elevations but a lot of a lot of rain and a lot of cool weather, um, and uh, about a week or two ago, when I you know sent you the text, it had, we just got a massive rainstorm that sent a lot of 
water through the local creeks uh, in the area and really um, was water we hadn't seen since like 1993 when it flooded in this area. And um, anyway, long story short, the preserve, the Granger Preserve that you're talking about uh, sits in basically my backyard. And that what would usually is a, a dry at a, a foot or maybe two at best wide creek bed was was full and, and four feet four or five feet deep in water um about six feet across um this one particular rainstorm that came through so uh long story short there's been a lot of weather going on that like like you're saying definitely has displaced the uh local animal populations and um I think, like you said, that, that connection of that preserve area to the Cleveland National Forest is um, kind of like for them hiding in plain sight. Uh, like, like we've been seeing, there's a lot of urban uh, or suburban types of encounters where they're right in our own backyard and we don't even notice a Sasquatch being there at all until you pay a little more close attention. So, yeah. Um, yep. And this is uh, what this uh, subscriber here at the channel uh, had mentioned. Basically, I was sitting inside just uh winding down from the day the kids are, were in bed and the wife and i were watching television and um just uh, relaxing at the end of the day and out of nowhere you hear uh I, I, you know uh, but solid few uh whoops and uh, vocalizations and you know it was very very quick you know within 20 seconds and uh three distinct uh whoops you know like basically uh two short ones and then a longer uh softer whoop at, at, to me, it seemed like in response. And immediately my wife turned, you know, I turned around and, you know, looked at my wife and she looked at me and it was that look like, oh my gosh, that's, you know, I, I know what he thinks that is. Um, <laughs> so, you know, those, those encounters are just great. I mean, I, I hands down, 100% know when you hear that sound, it's, there's, there's no other explanation for it. And um, it's funny when your family members, uh, believers or not, are parts of those uh, encounters and you can kind of share them together and you know it's you know it's different than just a uh, coyote or a dog or whatever what have you um, so pretty pretty cool encounter it's been a while for me and I hands down know that that was um, coming out of the preserve back there and uh, sounded like two two sasquatches in communication to me nice nice yeah that's pretty close to home so to speak um yeah i mean and did you get a you know a feeling of well your first encounter in the northern part of the state was you were a lot uh closer to the squatch on that one um uh, i know that did you get a feeling of dread like you did on that one no it, it, it was no? just you know that one that one seemed very aggressive like territorial um this time around, I definitely had a overwhelming feeling. It wasn't a fear or aggression or anything. It was just a, a, there's a knowing that whether they mind speak that to you or you just have had enough time and research or experience that you know what you're hearing when you hear it. Um, you know, yeah. to me, it was definitely a feeling uh, that definitely came over, but it was the, it's in the knowledge of you know, the research we've done over the years, knowing what, what to even listen for. Um, but here again, my wife doesn't do near, you know, she's a, a, a bystander as far as research goes. She just listens to what I talk about and that's about it. She's, you know, not, yeah. she, she's not a squatcher like we are. Um, right. Uh, not, not a disbeliever, but not, not a, not a researcher like we are. So it wasn't a, a, an overwhelming, scary feeling. It was just, you you, you definitely knew what was going on. Um, yeah. And, 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 and just to the fact that, you know, uh, my wife acknowledged it and recognized it um, as well. Like I said, not being a uh, disbeliever, but she, she knew exactly what was in my mind right away. Right. Yeah. I'm sure mine would do the same. Uh, you know, just the tidbits, uh, you know, she knows about it as well. Um, but you know, and you didn't have a chance. I, I know you want to try and get an expedition together. It just didn't work out, just the timing and everything. But uh, 
did, did you get a chance to go out there and look for footprints or anything? It was still raining, wasn't it? Yeah, it's been pretty nasty, but I did go down there um, uh, on President's Day, so this past Monday, and got down there, but it was, it was just so muddy and, um, you know, uh, hard to get around that I, I, I couldn't really make out my yeah. steps from the neighbors and the dogs and, you know, coyotes or what have you. So um, it, was, it was a muddy, right. uh, a quick muddy trip, that's for sure. Yeah. Any footage or did you not? No, roll I didn't roll camera. That? I mean, and nothing that, uh, you know, my iPhone is, um, needs to be upgraded. And for whatever reason lately, my videos have come out, uh, very pixelated. So, uh, what I, what I did yeah. take really didn't show up. Um, so I, nothing worth, uh, putting on the channel. Oh, get I a know, GoPro, man. I, know. I need to get myself That's what a I selfie did. stick and a GoPro. <laughs> Yeah, they're cheap. You can get a, a, a GoPro 4 for, you know, pretty inexpensive, like 130 140 yeah, I'm, bucks. Uh, I'm Links are down in the description. Definitely uh, so, going to be yeah. needing that for, especially as things warm up and we start to get back outdoors, you know, as the summertime, as springtime and summer comes along. Uh, yeah, definitely going to have to make that investment. Right. Yeah, I mean, there's, we, we've, we've still been squatching out here in the, uh, well, even out there, too, in the, the winter, which, uh, our last one, uh, you know, was in a known sighting location. Last couple, it's been not necessarily the best weather. <laughs> I mean, uh, right. you know, well, it depends if you like to sweat or not. You know, it, uh, you know, nothing like sleet or anything like that, but definitely on the chilly side. Um, but, you know, what we're finding out, especially is if you can get into an area that, um, you know, there's, especially right now in the winter where there's, uh, quite a bit of snow in the upper elevations in the uh, southern Sierras, uh, you know, especially as, you know, even the San Bernardino range right now, I think snow levels down to, what, 1,500? Um, oh, yeah. I mean, just looking at them, I, yeah. I can see them right now. They're um, very, very low com comparatively to what they are even on a normal winter out here. So, Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we've done some expeditions. We're trying to work our way up to our Oklahoma expedition. Uh, there's actually some uh, subscribers that are probably going to come along with it. Um, oh, nice. Some that actually know the area. Yeah, I'd love to have you out here, John. I know you're pretty busy, but, uh, well, you know, uh, even the one my, we didn't. Yeah, working on getting oh, my way yeah. out of California. Um, so, yeah, I'd, as soon as I can get out there with you all, definitely uh, would love to do so. Yeah, we think of you every time we're out. Um, but yeah, definitely the um, Oklahoma expedition coming up. And keep an eye out for that as we kind of roll some of the different states in the playlist. So it makes it a little more organized, especially as we are able to continue to get into some of these known sighting locations, Great. which we've already done. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe below so we can expand our Squatch search with your help. If you do have an encounter to tell, send to SoCal Sasquatch Organization at gmail.com. We now have SCSO Keep On Squatching t-shirts available. See link in description below. Join the community and show it off wherever you go.